Shepard, I find myself in the unpleasant position of asking for your help. I don't like discussing personal matters, but this is important. What's going on? You remember what I told you about Father? Building a dynasty? There was another reason I went to Cerberus for protection. I have a sister, a twin, and he's still hunting her. Cerberus has kept her safe, until now. She's living a normal life on Ilium, safe and hidden from my father. So you think your father has tracked her down? Precisely, Commander. My sources indicate he knows that she's on Ilium. I've tried to keep her hidden without impacting her life, but I'm out of options. He's too close. I need to relocate my sister's family before it's too late. What do you know about your sister? She's my genetic twin. We're identical, but she deserves a normal life and she's going to get it no matter what. Does your sister's family know about this? Are they okay with being relocated? They know nothing. They're completely uninvolved. Normal. I told Cerberus and they're coming up with a positive reason to move the family. What do you need me to do? My father is extremely persistent. I'd like to go to Ilium when Cerberus is moving the family to make sure none of his agents get too close. My contact's name is Lantea. She'll be waiting for us in the lounge near the Nurse Astra docking bay. Ms. Larson, I'm glad you've made it. We've had a complication. What happened? Is Ariana all right? She's fine, but you listed a man named Niket as your trusted source. He contacted me, warning that your father has sent Eclipse mercenaries to make a sweep. He suggested that the mercs might be watching for you personally. He's offered to escort Oriana's family to the terminal instead. You didn't mention anything about Niket. He's a friend. He and I go back a long way. Do you want to bring in any of your other Ilium contacts, Ms. Lawson? No. You and Niket are the only two I trust on this. Making changes now could be dangerous. Are you sure you can trust Niket? Absolutely. He's one of my oldest friends. I trust him with Ariana. Lentea will follow Niket's suggestion. Shepard and I will take the car and draw their attention. Have Niket escort the family to the shuttle. Give him full access to the family's itinerary, just to be safe. Understood, Ms. Lawson. So the plan is for us to get shot down by Eclipse while your sister gets to safety? Eclipse will be under orders to take my sister alive. They won't risk anything that could kill us. I doubt Eclipse will send all their people just to stop you. Do you want to give Niket any backup? Niket can take care of himself. Besides, any armed backup just draws attention to him. I'm ready whenever you are, Miranda. Thank you, Shepard. I appreciate this. I hadn't planned on Eclipse, but they never planned on you. Damn it! Eclipse mercenary gunships. They'll be dropping troops in the cargo areas. us down in that cover behind them. Let's hope they really do want to take us alive. Hold fire! I said hold fire, damn it! I got this. Since you're not firing yet, I trust you know who I am. Yeah, they said you'd be in the car. You're the bitch that kidnapped our boss's little girl. Kidnapped? This doesn't involve you. I suggest you take your men and go. Think you've got it all lined up, huh? Captain Inyala's already moving in on the kid. She knows about Niket. He won't be helping you. What do you mean, Niket won't be helping us? Nothing you need to worry about. Nobody's gonna get killed unless you do something stupid. You walk away now, the girl goes back to her father, and everybody's happy. Everybody but my sister. And me. I'm giving you one chance to leave. That's more than most get. Captain Inyala ordered us to give you one chance to walk away. This whole time we've been talking, my men have been lining up shots. When I say the word, 
We unleash hell on your squad. So I suggest you walk away nicely, unless you want things to get... We've been spotted. Show them what a clip can do! Hang on, I've got one of their radios. I'll patch us in, see if I can get an idea of what we're up against. Shepard, I think I owe you an explanation. Ariana is my twin, genetically. But my father grew her when I was a teenager. She was meant to replace me. I couldn't let my father do to her what he did to me. So I rescued her. She's almost a woman now. I can understand choosing to go your own way, but you stole a young child from her father. If you knew my father, you would understand. I wasn't the first one he made, I was only the first one he kept. I was brought up with no friends, pushed to meet impossible demands. I wasn't a daughter to him. I was... I don't know what I was. Ariana has had a normal life. I made the right decision. Sounds like your friend Niket might be in some trouble. If they've got to Niket somehow, this is going to be harder than I'd planned. According to the specs I reviewed, we'll need to cut through the cargo processing yard to get to Oriana. I hope your friend can be trusted. Absolutely. Niket is one of my oldest friends. I guess you could say he was my only real friend. He's the only person I didn't cut ties with when I left my father. Is there a chance your father could be using Niket to get to you? I'm sure he's tried, but Niket's one of the few people who understands what my father is really like. I trusted him with my life when I ran from my father, Shepard. He won't betray me now. Let's go find Niket and Orion. Right. They're on the far side of the conveyor line. Time your shots. Valuable. Thank <laughs> you. 
road. This looks interesting. Cargo line. Maybe the captain knows we're listening in and she's feeding misinformation about Niquette making a switch. Or maybe it means something else. Niquette wouldn't do that. Damn it, why won't the thing go any faster? Did Niquette know that you took Oriana from your father? No, he just found out about that recently. It was too personal to involve someone else. I never really thought about it, but maybe... No, he'd have to understand why I did it. He knows what I went through. We won't know anything until we find Niket. And then I'll have a word with this Captain and Yala.
Listen to me. I've got authorization to change their booking. I'm sorry, sir. We're under security lockdown. Until the situation in the cargo terminal is resolved, no passengers can be rebooked. This isn't worth my time, Niket. I get paid regardless of how the girl gets there. No. I was told that I could handle this my way. We're not traumatizing the family any more than we... Miri. This should be fun. Niket, you sold me out. How do you want to handle this, Miranda? Why, Niket? You were my friend. You helped me get away from my father. Yes, because you wanted to leave. That was your choice. But if I'd known that you'd stolen a baby... I didn't steal her. I rescued her. From a life of wealth and happiness? You weren't saving her. You were getting back at your father. How did Miranda's father turn you? They told me you kidnapped your baby sister all those years ago. They said I could help get her back peacefully. No trauma to the family. I told them you'd never do that. They could go to hell. And you finally told me what you'd done. I called them back that night. Why didn't you call me, Niket? We've been through a lot. You could have at least let me explain. I deserve to know that you'd stolen your sister, Miri. I deserve to know you were with Cerberus. But I had to hear it from your father first. How much did Miranda's father pay you? A great deal. Damn it, Niket! You were the only one I trusted from that life. He knew you felt that way. That's why he bought me. So you just took his money? Don't get holy with me, Miri. You took his money for years. If Niket knows about Oriana, then your father does too. Relocating her won't work. Miranda's father has no information about Oriana. I knew you had spy programs in your father's system, Miri, so I kept it private. I'm the only one who knows. Which means that you're the only loose end. This isn't how I wanted it to end, Niket. Miranda, wait. You don't want to do this. This has to end here, Shepard. My father will keep trying to find Oriana. Maybe Niket can help. Talk to your father. Just say you got here first. Oh, I'll tell him that you hid her. That I don't know where she is. I never want to see you again, Nikit. Done. Now, if you don't mind, I have a shipment to deliver. You'll die for that, bitch! I'm good to go! Could be more Eclipse Mercs near the shuttle. I want to make sure Oriana and her family get on safely. I can't believe Niket sold me out. I didn't even see it coming. Even with all your upgrades, you're human, just like the rest of us. But I let it get personal, and I screwed up. Why didn't you let me kill him? I could have handled that. But watching him get gunned down by that Asari bitch... You still cared for him, even if he betrayed you. You're right. 
And my father knew it. He used that against me. It's always been like this. My father gave me anything I ever wanted. But there was always a hook, an angle for his long-term plan. I threw away everything he ever gave me when I ran. Except Niket. Weakness on my part. You can't toss aside everything you care about just to be safe. It's okay, Shepard. My father hurt me, but he didn't break me. As much as he tried to turn me into exactly what he wanted, I'm my own person. Any other old friends your father might use against you? No. I cut ties with everyone else. Anyone I'm close to now works for Cerberus. Or you. My father's powerful, but he won't cross the elusive man. You still have Orion. My father didn't give her to me. I rescued her. Yes, you're right. I still have something. Thank you. No sign of Eclipse. It looks like we're clear. There she is. She's safe. With her family. Come on, we should go. Don't you even want to say hello? It's not about what I want, it's about what's right for her. The less she knows about me, the better. She's got a family. A life. I'll just complicate that for her. She doesn't need any details. But would it really be so bad for her to know she has a sister who loves her? I guess not. Go on. We'll wait here. Mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all. There's something else I'd like to talk about. Ask. Have a few minutes to talk? Certainly. We haven't had a chance since I joined. When we met you, you said you were dying. Yes. I thought you'd want to know more. You don't have to worry about the rest of the crew. My illness is not communicable, even to other Drell. It's called Keprel Syndrome. You don't act like a dying man. You have the advantage there, Shepard. You've already died. Perhaps later you can give me some suggestions. I can do nothing to alter my fate. One advantage of my training is that I've always, to some degree, considered myself dead. Thank you for your concern. Trust me, this won't affect my performance. I am glad I joined your team. It has been too long since I traveled with companions. When the time comes, I will do whatever is necessary. You're an important part of this crew, Samara. It is my honor. Also, there is a matter I need to discuss. When we met on Ilium, I told you about a very dangerous person I was pursuing. Using the information you obtained, I have located her. She's been going by the name Morinth. I would like to apprehend her before she disappears again. How important is this? Killing her has been my focus for 400 years. It is the most important thing in my life, and the reason I became a Justicar. Where is she? Omega, a nightclub called Afterlife, which seems a perfect place for her to hunt. Didn't you say you'd pick up her trail after our mission? I know where she is, right now. In a month, she may be gone. This is the best opportunity I've ever had. Tell me about her. She is an Ardat Yakshi. It is a term from a dead Asari dialect. It means demon of the night winds, but that is mythology. She is simply a very dangerous woman who kills without mercy. 
So is an Ardat Yakshi a special kind of murderer? Morin suffers a rare genetic disorder. When she mates with you, there is no gentle melding of nervous systems. She overpowers yours, burns it out, hemorrhages your brain. You end up a mindless shell, and soon after, you are dead. Can't she abstain? Each encounter gives her strength. The effect is narcotic. The more she does it, the more she needs to do it. She will never stop. She can't. So you hunt down these Asari just because they're born with a genetic condition? It manifests with maturity. When one is diagnosed, she is offered the chance to live in seclusion and comfort. If she refuses, it shows her addiction to the ecstasy she gets from killing her mates. There is no redemption for such a person. Isn't she only deadly to the people she mates with? Each time she kills, she becomes stronger, smarter, and faster. And she's been doing this for 400 years. She confuses her victims, twists their feelings. They will do anything for her favor. We need to stop her. Thank you, Commander. There are no words to express what this means to me. There is one thing more. This creature, this monster. She is my daughter. You said this is genetic. How many children do you have? Three. And three Ardat Yakshi are in existence today. It is as it sounds. Marinth was always the wild one. She was happy and free. But selfish. It can't be easy to talk about. My daughter's condition is my fault, and my redemption lies in killing her. Do not pity me. Simply understand my situation. How did all this happen? I spent my youth on the move, adventuring. I killed people, mated with them, or just danced the night away. I learned so much, experienced so much, and then my matron days came. I could finally sit back, bask, and enjoy my family. But in one moment, it was all taken away. It sounds terrible. I sat in a med lab while a nearsighted doctor droned at me, and I learned that nothing was as I thought it would be. I gave up all that I possessed. I owe nothing, claim nothing. All my knowledge will die with me. Now my purpose is to destroy my own children. You either get stuck in your past, or forget it and move on. I am not stuck in my past. I am out to rectify it. Help me find my long-lost daughter. And kill her. We'll go find Morinth. <laughs>